In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, the darkest hour has come for humanity. High fleets of ravenous tyranids enclose on entire sectors, like a predator circling its prey. Entire orc warbands, once able to be dealt with individually, have band together under the banner of orc warboss Gazgul Thraka, and the forces of chaos have split the galaxy in two after their crushing victory in the Cadian system. The only thing keeping mankind together are the various military organizations at the Imperium of Man's disposal. The genetically engineered super soldiers of the Adeptus Astartes bring the Emperor's Fury in the form of 25mm assault rifles and ceramite power armor. The Imperial Navy brings death to billions of mankind's enemies via powerful broadside fire and orbital bombardment. And the Officio Sassanorum can spell the Inferred Uprising or Chaos Cult before they can bring devastation to an entire world. But all these powerful military branches at the Imperium's disposal pale in comparison to the most vital part of humanity, an inexhaustible army made up of over 500 trillion mortal men and women that hold the line across a million worlds. Mortal humans that face down indescribable horrors, demons, and massive orcs. For 10,000 years, they have been asked to hold the line against unending horrors the untamed galaxy threw at them, and for 10,000 years, they have held that line. They are the Imperial Guard. Once simply known as the Imperial Army during the Emperor's Great Crusade, the Imperial Guard has been stripped of most of their strength after the devastating civil war known as the Horus Heresy. The Imperial Ground Forces and Imperial Navy were once one organized force, but were split into two different branches after countless regiments rebelled against the Imperium during the Horus Heresy. This split was to ensure that if a regiment of the Ash Militarum were to ever rebel again, they wouldn't have access to a spacefaring navy capable of bringing their treachery to other worlds. The Imperial Guard act as the first and often only line of defense for humanity against the numberless horrors that want nothing but to destroy mankind. They are the largest organized military in the Milky Way galaxy, being drawn and recruited from almost every world in the Imperium, with those said planets often being the one to equip those guardsmen. Standardization is all but impossible with even the most basic part of the Imperial Guard's arsenal, the LAS gun, being found in thousands of different varieties with widely varying quality. Every day, millions of Imperial citizens are drafted from their homes to serve as part of the immovable bastion that is the Imperial Guard. While the Imperial Guard has billions of tanks, aircraft, and other mechanized vehicles at their disposal, the core of the Astra Militarum is the standard guardsmen. Armed with nothing but the most basic of body armor, and a weapon only effective when concentrated fire is utilized. Despite these shortcomings, in being both technologically and genetically inferior to almost any other race in the Milky Way galaxy, time and time again, these mortal soldiers have prevailed against seemingly insurmountable odds. The recruitment of Imperial Guardsmen stems from each planet's own defense force. By Imperial law, every world under its rule must have its own standing army to defend against threats, both external and internal. Every standard year, a portion of the most elite members of these defense armies are drafted to serve the wider Imperium across tens of thousands of conflicts. The amount of fresh recruits drawn from worlds will vary widely. An Imperial Hive world with well over a trillion citizens will be asked to provide a billion soldiers every year, as well as millions of tanks, APCs, fighters, bombers, and other military equipment whilst a small agricultural world or feudal world will be asked to only provide a couple of regiments. With so many different worlds giving up parts of their population to serve as mankind's greatest defenders, there are no doubt hundreds of standout Imperial Guard regiments that have earned reputable fame across the rest of the Imperium. The Elysian Drop Troops hail from the civilized world of Elysia, one of the few planets in the Imperium with a lifestyle similar to modern-day Earth. They are the masters of airborne assault, laying siege to the enemies far beyond their lines and away from the front. Due to the slow and grinding advance of the majority of other Imperial Guard forces, however, these highly trained and well-equipped airborne soldiers are almost certainly destined to die in their missions, but in doing so, inflicting catastrophic damage on hostile infrastructure and supply lines. The Death Corps of Krieg is home to possibly the most fanatical Imperial Guard regiments. 
Once a prosperous hive world, Krieg has been reduced to a near inhospitable wasteland after a devastating civil war. The planet is now classified as a death world and breeds Imperial Guard regiments that hold no value for their own lives, only caring about atoning for their planet's sins a millennia prior. The Katachan jungle fighters are perhaps the hardiest warriors in the entire Imperium. Their home itself is hostile to human life. Every plant, animal, and insect is able to kill a human in a matter of minutes. It is why less than 25% of the population gets to see adulthood, and to become some of the greatest defenders of mankind. Specializing in hit and run tactics, the Katachan jungle fighters are the masters of guerrilla warfare. The leadership in the Imperial Guard is as varied as the quality of its soldiers. Entire wars have been lost due to either incompetent leadership or due to orders not arriving or arriving years after they were supposed to. One part of the Imperial Guard command structure that is almost universally seen as a face of the Astra Militarum is a Commissar. These political officers are perhaps the only standardized part of the entire Imperial Guard. Leading through fear and loyalty, a Commissar can be the difference between a decisive victory and a crushing defeat. Truly and strong, the Imperial Guard is the only thing standing in the way of mankind's extinction. There are countless parts of the Asha Militarum that couldn't be covered in this video, but rest assured, the Imperial Guard will get a spotlight again on this channel very soon. I will hopefully see you guys very soon. Goodbye. And once again guys, I am very sorry for the four month hiatus. I have just been completely out of making videos recently. But I have a lot of scripts all written up, so I'll see you guys hopefully next week. Have a good one.